Hey guys, and welcome back to Storytime. Two Griffin with you here, hanging out with you, gonna talk to you for a little while. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, or night, or afternoon, or mid to early evening. Well, whatever time of day it is, you know, I hope you're having a good day. And I uh, hope you've had a good week. It is, uh, it's, this one's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably Wednesday right now, isn't it? I'm guessing it's Wednesday, probably Wednesday evening. So, I hope you've had a good week so far. Hey, only a couple more days in the weekend, right? So, um, just hang in there. Also, uh, Fluster. Fluster is very happy to see you guys, too. Hey, Fluster, how's it going, dude? Now, as promised, because we needed aluminum, and we didn't have any aluminum around here, and we weren't able to dig up any aluminum because we didn't have a crane, so we had to go and... Go back to, and by the way, I, I went back to the, um, the first planet, but then I changed that because I remembered that the second planet, the irradiated planet, that had tons and tons and tons of aluminum on it. So I just, I went back there and I got tons and tons of aluminum. So we have it now and we can build all kinds of craziness on this planet. It's going to be amazeballs. In fact, um... Uh, well, a surprising thing happened. I thought I was going to have to build another vehicle bay because I already had this one. And I figured when I landed, like last time, this thing would land at the vehicle bay. But it didn't. It just landed right out here where it landed the first time. I have no idea why that happened. So, I just drove the vehicle back over here and, and she's ready to accept that crane whenever we're going to build it. So, let's build ourselves a few things. Um, and we need some compound for that, so we're going to grab some. Compound, compound. I know we're running low on compound, and there isn't much compound on this planet, but there is a lot of valuable shit that we can trade to get more compound. So we're going to be just fine. Right now, oh yeah, you charge up. You charge up good. Uh, over here, we got our aluminum. We're going to make a trade platform. Just stick these right over here, and kerboom, trade platform. So we're doing good. All right. Now, what was it? What else was I going to put? Uh, was it going to be a research station or... or... No, it's going to be a, a fuel condenser. That's what I want. I want a fuel condenser. So we're going to do that. We're going to... Oh, hang on. I didn't do that right. Okay. Resin put here. Yes. Uh, maybe I should dig this out first, you think? Because that is a... Okay, that's that's a piece of... Of course, it'll just get blown away the next time any storm blows through. Where can I set this thing? Do you have a place that I can put it? Will you put anywhere on... Ex no, I'm just gonna... Oh, boy. Okay, I'll tell you what. You can just stay there for now until I build a research station, which might be soon, by the way. Um... So yeah, fuel condenser. Gonna do that. Um, bonk. Now wait a minute. Before, ooh, that's a deep hole. Let me see if I can fix this. We don't want a deep hole around here to trip on and fall in. And, and there we go. That's that's a little better. Bonk. Come on, Bluster. Just channel the inner sculptor in you that I know you can be. There you go. That's better. All right. I need compound for this, for a research station. I don't want a research station, though. I want, um, I want a fuel condenser. Copper! Oh, that's not a problem. Actually, are you charged up yet over here? You are. And wait, no, you're not. Why are not you charged up? What the hell, man? It's still... Where's our solar panel? Where is it at? Is it, hit... is it hiding? Oh, there it is. It can't... Figure out where the sun is. Come here. Yeah, stick you there. There you go. Now get that little last bit of juice there. So I can actually refine some of this copper. Okay, here we go. Look, look, look it, look it. Uh-oh. I hear wind blowing. Is it? Is it just normal wind or is it a storm coming? I don't know. Give me some copper. Man, we have tons of copper. We're going to need it, too. Well, there we go. Did it put it? Oh, put some of it over here. 
Uh, why'd you only give me three of them? I put more than... Oh, it didn't. It gave me four. Okay, never mind. Put those all over there. All right, we'll wait for this to charge up. I don't think it's going to do it today. Oh, wait. We got... Yeah, we got the wind going on. So it could charge up. We could do another batch. All right. Let's get this copper just finished. I want this stuff out of my life and just sitting here in storage. Okay. Huh? Hello. Fluster never knew when he decided to become ex a space explorer that he would be dealing with metallurgy and witchcraft and craziness like this. But, you know, sometimes the things that you do require doing things that you didn't expect you'd have to do. Almost everything, actually. So we got, oh boy, do we have copper. Boy, do we have copper. We have tons of copper. Um, now, let's see. What else can we do around here? You want to do the research station? No, we're going to make a fuel condenser. Yes, right. And then we'll make the research station. Well, give us uh, copper and copper. Uh, oh! Dead! I do oh, flustered death. Good God, he got hit by a spiky ball. See, I, I thought at first that those were um, not lethal. I was wrong. They are very lethal when they hit you in the face. So you have to be careful. All right. So I will count that. That That is an actual death. I will count that one. The, the ones that where I was getting out of the damn spacecraft and it killed me just for doing that, that those didn't count. All right. Fuel condenser time. Bong. Now. There we go. No power, of course. Where? Oh, boy. Is there any possible way? Can we go over here? No, we can't. Mm, where can we take this? We need... Oh, wait. Oh, we can come out this way. Okay, so uh, let's do that. We're running out of resin, but that's okay. We're going to be able to get more. Shit, we could trade in some of our copper. Got loads of that shit. All right, let's go out this way. Let's just bring you out here. And let's bring you out again. Yeah. So we can have another base off of which to build. There we go. Do I have two more? I don't have two more resins. Well, shit. You know what that means? We're going to have to go over here and we're going to just trade in these two lithiums uh, for some resin. That's what we gonna do. Uh, okay. One, two. Okay, how much resin will that give me? Eight? Oh, that'll do. Go! Go, big boy! All right. Off you get. We'll build a research station here. Anyway, um, so while that's going on, I can sit this on there and it won't blow away. Um, today I wanted to talk about something, and I can't remember if I've talked about it before. I may have. I may have actually talked about this before, and I don't remember. But if I have, then hopefully this will just lend some more perspective on it. Uh, and that is because... This is something I don't talk about often because it has to do with uh, my personal sexual preferences and sexuality. And that's something that I, you know, I, I don't begrudge anyone their sexual preferences, but I just don't think that's, that's not something that should be public knowledge. It's not something that, you know, it's your own private business. It's not something that, you know, you should showboat. So I, I don't feel comfortable showboating it. Uh, but, oh no, 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 we're not going, nope, nope, okay, go back there, book, okay, bug it, oh, I'm not, okay, oh, I thought I was stuck, research station, I need compound for that, oh, hello, oh, hello, spiky balls, why don't you piss off, why don't you kiss my ass, you know, I need, I need more compound, I don't have any more, well, it's trading time again, we got tons of copper. I don't think we're going to need much more of it. Um, so, well, let's trade in some copper for some... Oh, wait. 
I do have some compound. It's right over here. I knew it was there the whole time. Yeah, you, I, 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 I made you believe I didn't know where it was. Ha! Fooled you! I knew where it was the whole time. Anyway. Now, put those up there and build a research station. There's not much left for us to research, but... Um... I don't know, maybe there's a thing or two that we don't have yet. We got most of it. Oh, well, hopefully you get power soon. Anyway, may, I may need to put another... Do I need to... I should probably put another solar panel on this base. Just... Just because that one tiny little one isn't really cutting it. And so... We're going to take another one. I probably should have built a big one. Actually, you know what? What does it take to build a big one? Um, do I even need a big one now? I don't know. Let's look here. A drill head, medium battery, what does that take? Oh, lithium. No, oh, no, not a battery. Generator. Oh, hello. Solar panel needs compound. Well, I have that. I can do that. And we're gonna put a decent solar panel on this thing instead of this little fudge over here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now, put this dude over here. Instead of that other one. This guy will power the whole place. Ah, there we go. We'll just set it right there, bonk. Okay, now we got power for, uh, for frickin' days. We got power forever, lots and loads and loads and tons of power. So, and we even have an extra solar panel if we want one, uh, which... Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. We'll just leave that there for now. Anyway... Um, what I was about to talk about, let's see what we get out of this. Are we gonna get any actual research? Is it gonna be like a compound? Oh, wait. It's an aluminum. Oh, great. Where were you before? So, yeah, I, I, I don't like to showboat sexuality stuff. I just, I, I just don't. Because it's just, it seems private. But people ask me this all the time. They ask for it. So, and, and I, I know that it's something that may be confusing for some people uh, out there. So, I think it's a good idea to talk about it sometimes. Because I want people to be able to understand, uh, I guess, themselves and, you know, understand that they're not alone. Uh, because what people ask me is they, they usually say, well, you know, you say you're asexual, but then you say you're, you're gay. How can you do both of those at the same time? And that's, that's a legit question. I mean, I, I would have that, that would be something I'd wonder too. So, uh, it's not like a thing where it's like, oh, damn, that's it. No, it's, it's, it, that's a reasonable question. And the thing about it is, it's, it's hard. Ugh. It's hard to discover that you're gay. That's difficult. Uh, but it's not nearly as difficult as discovering that you're asexual. It, I knew I was gay. Oh, come on. Damn it. Wow, I'm just all these spiky balls all over the place. Get out of my base. Get out of my life. Do you have anything I needed? No. Is is do I still have the Oh god. Um stop doing things. Okay, there we go. No, don't do this. Do not. There we go. So Yeah, there we are. So uh yeah, it, it's I mean Discovering you're gay, that's one thing, because, oh, holy crap, I'm having these feelings of, you know, romance and, you know, a personal connection and, and, and uh, you know, companionship that's supposed to be for women, but I'm having it for guys. And it doesn't take long before you're eventually like, well, okay, I'm a gay person. I, I, I was settled into the fact that I was gay by the time I was, you know, 24, 23. And it took me longer than most. But I didn't realize I was asexual until I was probably nearly 40. 
I didn't even know what it was. I, I didn't even understand it at all. And there's a lot of people out there who feel really lonely because they don't understand that they're asexual. Oh, don't give me piece of shit. Go away, spiky balls. Fuck you. Uh, let's see here. What are we wanting? Oh, we we're wanting a drill. We need a drill. Yay! Oh, and we got the copper right there. Stop spinning around on me like that, game. Okay. Drill head. And now we has the drill. The drill of ultimate doom! Ugh. Come on, get on there. What's wrong with you? There we go. So, yeah, figuring out I was gay, that was one thing. Figuring out I was asexual was another thing entirely. And the reason I, I had to go through several relationships that didn't work out before I discovered even that it was a thing. And believe me, it's not a thing that a lot of people know about because asexuals, we, we don't, we're not marching. We're not uh, demanding any rights. There's, there's nothing that we need. You know, it, it, people aren't firing people for being asexual. There, there's nothing that, you know, there's no visibility. We don't have to have that. But you do ultimately wind up feeling really lonely. And maybe you don't even know why. Um, but, see, hang on here. We has, we has a base. We need to, oh yeah, we're gonna have to stock up the ship with other materials. Uh, so we can go to the next place and make another base. So that's what we're doing now. Yep. Actually, hang on. Before we take off, I only have one more compound, don't I? Oh boy. Okay, well, we don't have enough to build. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. I'll put it over here. These are empty. Okay. That'll be the uh, fuel storage right there. There we go. So, anyway. Keep saying that. <laughs> we're going to go off and we're going to drill, guys. We're going to drill for some valuable shit. So, like I said, it, it took several relationships um when you're asexual it's not that you don't want sex it's not that you're never attracted to anyone and it's certainly not that you are not sexually functional you you are all of these things however to you when you're asexual sex is optional it's it's like any other activity that you can do. It's, it's, oh boy, I'm being blown backwards. I can't reach the, oh, oh get out. Damn it. I have to go around to the other side here. Okay. We'll do it. We'll just park ourselves over here now. Okay. Don't you fall in that hole. Don't you fall in that hole. Don't you do that to me! Damn well better not. I will kick your ass. You have no idea. Okay. No, I want to be in there. I want to be in that seat. There we go. Okay. Here we are. We're gonna dig a bit. Yep. We're gonna get all this titanium. I think this is titanium. We're gonna be tra able to trade this for shit tons of compound and stuff that we need. All right. And there we got that. Give us this. I hope this crane doesn't disappear like the last one did and just wound up floating in mid fucking air. That was not fun. That was not cool. Ugh. Can't get it. Okay. Well. Ah, uh, no, I don't. Nah, that's okay. We're, we're good. Let's go back. I, um... I got into several relationships. Well, I say several, but probably three or four. And... I discovered that while to me... Sex was this thing that was 
optional. It was like, yo, do, do you want to... What do you want to do? Do you want to uh, go out and uh, eat at Taco Bell? You want to uh, maybe uh, ride a roller coaster? Perhaps we could watch the sunset. Uh, we could have sex. We could um, sit around and then and, and I could read you a book or we could watch TV. It was just one of those things that was just, it was just like everything else. It was an optional thing that could be done. I, I had, I never had any hormonal drive or need for, uh, for sex. It just wasn't there. It wasn't a thing that I felt was, you know, essential or crucial. It was just another thing. Um, hang on. Where's my fuel condenser? Where, where are you, fuel condenser? What, I, I lost you. Yeah, oh, there you are. I found you again. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me, spiky balls. No spiky balls. No, thank you. Give me another fuel, bonk. All right. So that's... That's kind of the way... Asexual... Hey! Asexuals feel about sex. Is it? It's just... It's an optional thing. It's not necessary. It's not something that... That they have to do. And eventually, when you are not hormonally driven to have sex and it's just another activity you quickly find that it's not a very uh pleasurable activity to have um yeah of course there's the you know the sex part which that's pleasure but then you have things that are attached to it like like jealousy like if the one of the first things that i realize is that if I didn't have sex with my, you know, partner, then there was this emotional response and I'd get the cold shoulder and and suddenly all this stuff would begin to happen to me and just because I didn't have sex with them. And I started to realize, wait a minute, this is, th this isn't, this is weird. This is weird to me. I don't know why this is happening. I mean, I, I, if I decided that I didn't want to eat at Taco Bell, I didn't get the cold shoulder. You know, if, if I decided that I, I don't want to watch, you know, this particular, sh you know, TV show, but that one instead, I didn't get the cold shoulder. But if I decided I didn't want to have sex, then suddenly I'm getting this, this massive emotional backlash. And I didn't get it. I didn't understand. Uh, at least at the time, that sex is a hormonal thing for the vast majority of humans, uh, and they they have to have it. They need it. They they connect it with uh, emotional things. It, it uh, represents to them, to many people, the things that you're feeling. Like if you're, you know, if you don't have sex with someone. And I knew a guy who did this. If you if you didn't have sex with him, then he'd think you didn't like him. It's like, well, why don't you like me? Or why don't you love me? You're not having sex with me. That means you don't love me. And I I didn't get this. This was something that was totally weird to me. I didn't understand. Uh, I because like I said to me, sex was just another activity. It was like doing taxes or riding a roller coaster or or any other thing. Unfortunately, um, most asexuals come to the conclusion rather quickly that it's just not worth it to have sex. Because, I mean, it's, they can do it if they want to. But, because of all the emotional backlash, because of all the baggage that's attached to having sex, asexuals will decide it's not a worthwhile activity to do. They don't need it, and you know, eventually it's gonna, it comes down to the idea that, well, you know, I, I don't, since I don't need this, uh, and it causes all this emotional backlash, I don't want it. And a lot of asexuals will come to that conclusion. They just, they don't want it. Because it just causes too much bullshit. But, 
as the question of, you know, how can you be gay and asexual? Well, you can because when you're asexual and sex is not an involving thing, by the way, uh, the last couple of relationships I had, um, turned out, you know, you know I, I wasn't really sure about it. So I got into those relationships saying right from the beginning, look, I, I, I you know, I love you. I, I have all deep emotional feelings for you, but you know, we, I'd rather not have sex. We don't have to have, if I never have sex again in my life, I'm not going to miss it. I'm really not going to. And both relationships were like, okay, no, no, that's not a problem. I get it. But about, you know, six months into the relationship, the person was, you know, getting emotional and, uh, distraught because I was not having sex with them. Um, apparently they didn't understand. They just thought I was saying it, I guess, to, you know, assure them that I didn't just want them for sex, but that ultimately I did need sex and I wanted to, I needed them to provide it. When in fact, I was saying, no, I don't ever want sex really. And um, that wound up, you know, uh, my last couple of relationships actually not my last one my very last relationship uh, I actually wound up founding another finding another asexual man and we had a lovely gorgeous wonderful relationship for a very long time uh, so there's that but the only reason I'm talking about this at all oh oh boy oh, look at all the things you know we've done a we've we've made a lot of progress on this base right now. Ah, I'm get, I'm getting in here. We're gonna make more progress on this base uh, next time. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna go out and explore and dig up more, uh, more valuable minerals. And we're gonna have we're gonna get stuff to actually go into space with and set up another base. Which uh, we have plenty of copper. We're gonna have to trade for some aluminum. And uh, once, well, maybe we don't. We've got a bunch here. So we're, we'll find out. We're going to have to find out what we've got uh, and what we're going to go up with. So next, next episode, we will probably finish off this base. I'm going to look around a little bit for research material and, uh, you know, dig up a few things and trade it and get some more fuel and then we'll be ready for the next one. But like I was saying, um... The only reason I bring this up is because it took me until I was nearly 40. The last time I went to the doctor, it, this subject came up. My doctor didn't even know what asexual, uh, it's not its not a thing that people know what it is. Um, like I said, because its it doesn't have much visibility. It doesn't need much visibility. My doctor, when I told her I was asexual, thought that I meant celibacy. She thought that I was refusing sex even though I wanted it because of some sacred religious vow or something. And I had to correct her and say, no, 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 I, I just don't have any des desire for sex. I don't have any specific desire to have it. I don't. And she looked at me like, I don't think she believed me. I, I didn't think, she, I don't think she believed that that was a possible thing. And that's where the loneliness comes in because if you are asexual, People don't believe you exist. They don't believe it's a thing that you can go through life and just really not have any desire for sex, or at least, you know, not any more than, say, eating a certain kind of cheese or, you know, a, a gardening or anything that's just a normal activity that people may or may not want to do. You know, some, and with asexuals, that's exactly what it is. It's just, it's an activity to you that you may or may not want to do. And a lot of asexuals come to the conclusion that it's something they don't want to do because it turns out to be an emotional wreck. When you don't have the hormones that drive you to sex, looking at sex from outside that perspective, it's messy, it's sweaty, it's a lot of work. It's, it, there's a lot of things involved in sex that just, if you're not hormonally driven to do it, they're very, very 
yo, unappealing. It smells bad. It smell sex smells bad. It does. And when you're asexual, you look at sex as though it's any other activity, and you, most of them ultimately decide, hey, this is not an activity I want to do. But they don't understand that not everybody is like that. They think that with everybody, it's just an activity that they can take or leave, and they wind up going through a lot of bad relationships um, discovering that. So, again, my purpose in, in talking about this is if there are any asexuals out there, if there are any, and I've met several through talking about this uh, before, people who actually don't feel any drive towards sex, towards having it. They don't feel a need for it. They don't think that it makes any difference in a relationship. They don't think that it's something that's necessary. They don't think it's something that they really even want. Well, you're not alone, okay? There are plenty of asexual people out there, and it is a thing. It, it's, it's just, it's a thing. I don't know if I'd call it a sexual preference. It's kind of like the atheism of sex. You know, it's just like, you don't want any part of it. It's like, I don't have any feelings about it either way. Um, so if you are one of those people, just remember, you're not alone. Uh, I'm with you. I'm one of you. And, you know, there, there are plenty of places where you can go out and you can find, you know, asexual chat rooms and talk about this kind of thing. Uh, and, you know, it, it'll help you feel better to know that you're not the only person like this out there. Uh, it took me several relationships in about 40 years to figure it out on my own, so I'm gonna help you guys do it so you don't have to go through the same 40 years, you know what I mean? Anyway, that is what I wanted to talk about today. Tom well, not tomorrow, but the next story time, we're gonna start digging things up and we're gonna start storing up materials that we're, we're probably gonna trade uh, in order to get what we need to build another base on another planet. And uh, because this base seems mostly done. I think we mostly finished it. Don't, I don't even think, um, I don't know what else we'd have to be able to make here. I think we made everything. So, we're gonna take off for now. Guys, I'm very glad that you spent a little time with me today. Always love doing it with you. And until the next story time, guys, take care. <laughs>